Today we're going to discuss breast implants and in the next two minutes I'm going to summarize for you what you need to know for breast implants. There are two main uh, uh, categories in breast implants. One is the saline implants which are the oldest implants and then the silicone implants. Uh, silicone implants were actually created back in the 70s and uh, you know late 60s um, and had evolution significantly since then. But today you know that the, the silicone implants have some advantages compared to the saline implants and, and vice versa. Silicone implants are usually approved for 22 years or older by the FDA in the United States. So if you are 22 years or older, you are a candidate for a silicone breast implant or a saline breast implant. If you are younger than that, then you are a candidate for a saline breast implant. A saline breast implant has the advantage that it can be placed through a small incision because the implant is placed deflated and then it gets inflated inside the cavity. Now, there has some disadvantages. For example, the feel of it is a little bit less natural than the silicone breast implants. Um, also, if the saline breast implants gets punctured, then it will deflate compared to a silicone breast implants that it won't deflate. And it might, uh, you know, you might notice that it's ruptured either on an MRI or with time if you develop some sort of capsule contracture. The rate of problems with either one is very similar. And I think the best thing that you can do is choose a good plastic surgeon that can explain to you which is your best option and why, uh, where it can be placed and so forth, and, and see what is the safest thing for you. Another thing that you have to choose with the increasing technology of breast implants, the silicone inside is a lot more cohesive. So a lot of people is uh, worried about what happens if the breast implant structure. Well, probably nothing happens because the silicone is so cohesive that it won't leak outside the implant. And if it does leak, even it stays in the capsule that your body forms, so it's, they are extremely safe. This is why it's probably the most common procedure performed by plastic surgeons after liposuction. And if you want to learn a lot more about breast implants, visit magicsurgeon.com, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll see you back in the next video. And always remember, believe in magic.